welcome to my maths video. Today I want to cover a question on uh, mechanics M1. This is a question from uh, June 2014, uh, IELB paper. Uh, so let's go through this question. Uh, in the, the main reason why I wanted to cover this question is because uh, of the first part. Uh, most students tend to do it the long way. So I'm going to show you the proper way of doing it. Alright, let's start. First, you're given that the ball is thrown vertical, vertically with speed 20 from point A, each meters above the ground, and it moves for 5 seconds. Alright, let's go down. So, what we have here is a particle projected with speed 20 meters per second. Okay, it travels up. Eventually reach the highest point and then it will drop down. Okay. And it will hit the ground somewhere here. Alright. So the height in which it's projected is each meters above the ground. And this point is what we call point A. So all we have to do for this question is to list down all the information that you are given. So we have initial speed, we know the distance is h, uh, the height which is projected. We know the time it takes for it to travel from the point of projection until it hits the ground. It's 5 seconds. Now, let's list down the information. So we know the initial velocity is 20, time is 5 seconds. Uh, acceleration, because it's going up, we always take the upward position, therefore it's negative g. And our displacement, since we are projecting it upward, so the displacement upward is positive, the one below is negative. So here will be negative h. So this is a catch here, most people most of them realize this. So you must remember that the velocity, the acceleration and the displacement are all vector, uh, vectors. Alright, so the only equation that can link all these four variables is S equals to UT plus half AT squared. That gives you negative H equals to 20, T is 5, minus half, G is uh, 9.8, I put a negative sign outside. Simplify and you will get H to be 22.5 meters. So that's our distance or the height above the ground where the particle is projected. Alright, that's the first part. Alright, but most students will tend to do it like this. They will separate the motion in two parts. One is from here to the highest point and then from the highest point to the ground. Now, doing that will take a lot of time. It's a waste of time. Alright, remember that your equation of motion is a vector equation. So if you take direction into consideration, you can solve it straight away. So you only have to consider the initial point and the final point, write out all the information you need. Choose a suitable equation to use that link all these unknown or variables or information and then substitute and then you get the answer. Alright, let's go to the second part. A second ball is thrown vertically up uh, downwards with speed of due from A and moves freely under gravity until it hits the ground. First ball hit the ground at V meter per second, second ball hits at 3 quarter find the value of due. Alright. So let's draw the second ball. Second ball is projected downwards from the same point and the speed of projection is the due. And we are told that it hits the ground with a speed of 3 quarter the Whereas the first one hits the ground with a speed of v, uh, 3 quarter v, sorry, this is 3 quarter v, and that's v. So what we can do now is uh, use this information and solve. Obviously, in order to get the value of w, we need to know what's v. And to know the value of v, we have to, what we can do is we use the first part, the first particle. So let's 
consider the first particle again. So here is the first particle. It will always be good if you specify what you're doing. So writing down first particle makes a lot of sense. So all we know is uh, u is 20. We know the time of flight is 5. We know the initial direction of your acceleration is negative g. And we know it hits the ground at v. So using this, there's only one equation that links all these four unknown here, which is v equals to u plus dt. That leaves us with 20 uh, plus negative g, t is 5. Simplify that, you will get 29 meter per second. Now, once we got the V, the next thing you want to do is to be able to find the W. Well, we know the W goes through the height of uh, 22.5. So that makes it a lot easier now. So let's look at the second particle. So for the second particle, the information given up is projected downward the speed of W. Since it's going downwards, A is supposed to be G. We know that the final speed is actually 3 quarter V, which is 29. And we also know that the distance it travels is 22.5. So for these four unknowns or four information, the equation that links all these four is V squared equals to U squared plus 2AS. So V is 3 quarter 29 whole thing squared equals to W squared plus 2G 22.5. Simplifying this will give you an answer for about 5.66 meter per second. So that's your final answer. Alright. So what's important is not so much of the second one. Most students uh, follow because of the first part. Much more because of the first part. Trying to break up the equation into two parts of the motion to reach the highest point and from the highest point to, to the ground. Don't ever do that. Do it by considering the whole motion. You will have all the vital information to solve. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.